So, as many of you know, Big Kev has not been well lit. Oh, wait a minute, that's not Big Kev. Hold up one second. So, as many of you know, Big Kev's not been very well. He was meant to be in this video, but obviously due to his health, he won't be. I hope you'll all join me in wishing him well and getting better soon. He's been replaced by my son, Billy, who's eight years old and probably talks more sense about football than Kev did before his stroke. So, right at the beginning of last season, you may remember we did a video based on Roy's view from, which is run by Panchero. It's absolutely brilliant. It gets the post and pre-game views of fans, as well as pre-season predictions. And there was some belters while we were in the championship. Many fans thinking we were going to get bummed and relegated in our second season. Well, the Premiership was no different, and this time the media jumped on board. So again, we're going to look at some of the best ones as featured on Roy's view from. Only this time, instead of just me waffling on, We've got some fellow Blades fans to give their favourites, as well as the man himself, Panchero. Enjoy. Hi. My name's Andrew, aka Roy, aka Panchero, aka that weirdo who gets loads of quotes from other teams off the internet. And here are my favourite pre-season quotes. Hi everyone, it's Ben from Blades Pod here. Fellas at Shore and View asked me to go on camera, which I'm always quite reticent to do. I like to just hide behind the microphone usually. They asked me to go on camera and uh, go through one of Roy's pre-season views from the media from the start of last season. And I guess if you followed United even remotely closely, closely there are some uh, some doozies involved in this one. Calm, don't try and rush dog. <laughs> Speak normally and calmly. Get off, Dad. Go. I think my favourite Wednesday quote of the season. There's a couple actually because there's there's one where it says like. Having Chris Basham starting week in, week out next season will be embarrassing for him. Obviously, a player at season. But my favourite is, I'd be concerned if I were them. They have signed decent championship players, but apart from Jaggy Elka, no one with previous Prem experience. I don't get all this money they're spending. Surely it'd be better to spend it on the likes of Carol Welbeck and Sturridge. And I love that because I think it just sums up the Wednesday mentality. Buy big, buy massive wages, man, 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 all that sort of bollocks. So, yeah, so that's my favourite Wednesday quote. It'll be Norwich, Sheffield United and Bournemouth who will face the relegation. Come, come, try again. It'll be Norwich, Sheffield United and Bournemouth who will face relegation to the championship. A couple of them have already been picked off, but I really like this one and I'm going to go through it for you now. Is of course from Adrian Durham at TalkSport, who, let's be fair to him, I don't think he believes what he's saying himself most of the time, but... I think, he, uh, I think he really took it to another level with this one. So let me go through what he said about United at the start of last season. Sheffield United are going down, not even taking the Premier League seriously. They're still bigging up Billy Sharp. As much as I love Billy Sharp, great record, absolute legend. Local boy, Kane Good, third spell of the club, but he is League One. He's not good enough for the Premier League. And with the greatest of respect, it's all sentimental bull that Sheffield United are hoping will take them through to 17th in the Premier League. Adrian Durham talks, but where to start with that one? I mean, not even taking the Premier League seriously. We broke our transfer record like four times in about three weeks. I know it was signing players from the Championship, but it turns out some of them were quite good. As for still picking up Billy Sharp, I mean, were we? I think we pretty much went into the season feeling that Sharp would be a sub at best, I think, and certainly not the player who was going to start every single week for us. Otherwise, why would we spend all that money on McBurney and Robinson and Mousse and the rest? Um, and as for Sharp being League One, I mean, come on, he just scored like 20 odd goals in the Championship the year before. I mean, that's just such disrespect. Clearly does not even believe what he's saying in this one. He's not good enough for the Premier League, and United apparently relying on sentimental bull. Now, I guess if you just looked at uh, the signing of Phil Jagielka and the fact that Sharp was still going to be our captain going into the season, maybe you could think that, but also suggest you've just not paid any attention at all to how things work at Sheffield United, how, how good a manager Wilder is, the system that we play, the way that we played all the way through last season. And yeah, I think uh, 
you know, of all the uh, all the wild, completely off the mark predictions from summer 2019, this one is definitely up there. And to, to compound matters, I believe Adrian Domachi tried to pretend that this was all a joke about two months later when it became quickly apparent that he was extremely wrong and United were extremely good. So there we go, Adrian Durham coming in there, coming in there hot with one of the, I would say definitely in the top three worst takes about United uh, from previous season. When you are resting your hopes on Lise Musa, it's relegation, I'm afraid. Irish guy from HITC. If your centre backs are turning up in the opposition box in the Premier League, you're going to get annihilated. Steve Nichol. They play basic football. Goth crooks. Blah, 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 blah. Danny Mills. I think my favourite pre. It's not really a pre season quote, to be fair. It's after we beat Palace 1 0. There's an Norwich fan saying, there's no Buendia, no Hernandez, no Campbell, etc. at Sheffield United. As far as I can see, or am I missing something? Time will tell, of course, but I'm confident that our focus on attack, and a quality one at that, rather than their defence, will prove to be more successful in our attempts at staying up this season. Fucking one of the worst ever teams in Premiership history, Norwich, so, yeah, good, good prediction. And there you have it, some of the stupidest and funniest pre-season predictions from pundits and fans alike. Let's hope for another season to remember as the first game rapidly approaches versus Wolves. As we said at the beginning, gutted we couldn't get Big Kev on here, he had a lot to say in this video. His Twitter's on screen now, go send him some love, join me in hoping he gets better soon. It was a massive pleasure to have Ben from Blades Pod on. Their Twitter's on screen now, make sure you go and follow him. If you haven't done so in the past, make sure you listen to the Blades Pod podcast, it's absolutely outstanding. And also a massive thanks to Roy, aka Panchero. I'm not going to do all these other AKAs, he's got far too many. The effort he goes into week in, week out to get these quotes was all to read and laugh over. It's, it's borderline heroic and it's a pleasure to have him in the video. As I said, his Twitter's on the screen, go and give him a follow. Were there any pre-season comments that you thought should have been in the video? If so, let us know in the comments, always like to read those. And if you haven't already, please leave a like on the video and please consider subscribing. Subscribing really does help us out a lot and we really want to push on and get as many subscribers as we can now to really build the channel. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and let's get ready to go again. Hope the blades! We are